It's a bright and early morning at Lake Murray. A California Thrasher in my scope. Birding enthusiasts on a tour led by Gabriel Maple are gazing through binoculars and scopes. They're seeking a glimpse of the many feathered species singing in the brush and tree-covered landscape. California specialty awesome bird. San Diego is a stopover point along the Pacific Flyway migration path that stretches from South America to Alaska. It's a crisscross this time of year, with winter flocks returning north and spring birds just arriving. More than 520 species have been documented in the county, the most in the nation, but that number is expected to decline in coming years. Practically every species in San Diego County could be threatened by um, climate change. Phil Unit is a researcher and curator of birds and mammals at the San Diego Natural History Museum. He uses a special call to locate birds in the National Wildlife Refuge near Rancho San Diego. Each species is going to be its own really complex story. Unit says annual migration patterns are being disrupted by rising temperatures and some species are seeking new habitats that are wetter and cooler. Species like the house wren and the Cassin's kingbird that aren't migrating south in the numbers that they did previously. The National Audubon Society estimates about half of North America's bird species will be forced to find a new habitat or face extinction within approximately half a century. Unit says many bird species take their migration cues from extended daylight hours. And that uh, stimulates the hormones that, okay, now it's time to migrate north. But warming temperatures are causing spring to arrive increasingly earlier, with plants and trees budding sooner. The fresh new greenery and flowers attract volumes of insects, the primary food source for birds. Unit says birds that don't adapt to the changing season by migrating earlier will miss the peak food abundance when they arrive at their breeding grounds. If the insects just aren't available in the numbers that they were, then that's going to be a strong signal. A signal to skip nesting. Unit says that's just one impact of climate change. Breeding season is also expected to be disrupted during droughts. Birds reproduce much less. They don't even attempt to nest during a severe drought. He worries about drought outlasting a bird's lifespan, such as the five-year dry spell San Diego recently experienced. When we're at one extreme that extends through the whole expected life cycle of five, six, seven, eight years of some small bird, that then, and I become really concerned that it's going to have a really profound effect on the population. Population declines are also expected from increased heat waves, invasive insects decimating forest habitats, and wildfires. Unit says San Diego's major blazes have drastically upended sensitive ecosystems. Like the Cuyamaca Mountains, the mountain chickadee, pygmy nuthatch, uh, some birds that were among the most abundant in the forest previously uh, are now rare. Birds are looked upon as messengers when it comes to climate change. They're highly reactive to changes in the environment, and they're one of the most studied species on the planet. We're looking to a future where um, it really is decidedly warmer than what we've seen historically. Dan Cahan is a research meteorologist with Scripps Institution of Oceanography. He studies natural variability and climate change, including sea level rise, heat waves, floods, and droughts. Things in the future are going to get successively more altered as, as the decades go forward. Cahan says average daytime temperatures from March through May in San Diego County have increased nearly two degrees in the last five decades. He says an additional three degrees are expected by mid-century. This is a phenomena that will obviously impact ecosystems and along with that bird populations. He says Earth is just beginning to show signs of greenhouse gas emissions already in the atmosphere. There's a number of symptoms of this changing climate which are already here with, you know, very unmistakable uh, signatures. For now, spring is arriving about three days earlier than it did in previous decades, but the U.S. Geological Survey reports by the end of the century, flowers will bloom three weeks sooner. And birds will likely be among the first to notice the change. Susan Murphy, KPBS News.